Hello and a very warm welcome to Nanning in China for our continuing coverage of the 2019 Sudaman Cup. This is the central business district of Nanning. There's a little bit of green around as well. It is known as the Green City, but it's also a key political, economic and cultural centre of the Guangxi region. Here's where we are at the Guangxi Sports Centre Gymnasium, part of a, a very large and impressive sports complex that features an outdoor football stadium with a capacity of 60,000. Capacity 9,000 in here, where 31 nations are competing in this year's event. 12 of them with genuine aspirations to lift the trophy. And they're from right around the world, as you can see. And a little earlier, the players arrived four courts being used this evening so we've got eight nations some have started well some not so impressively but hope springs eternal that's why you're involved there's still a chance and they seem happy enough to see us this is the third day of the group stage so that will conclude tomorrow the quarterfinals are on Thursday and Friday. Uh, you can watch the semis with us, both of them exclusively live on Saturday. And then Sunday, we'll see the trophy lifted Sunday evening. Well, here are the two groups within Group 2, Groups A and Groups B, or Group B. Uh, our match today is potentially uh, huge. Netherlands against France. Both sides with a 100% record so far. So something has to give. And just looking at the rankings between the various players involved, they're pretty close for the most part. So it is a tough one to call. The USA and Vietnam are the other two nations in this group. And whoever finishes top will play the top team in Group B there for the right to be called the Group 2 champion. If you were with us earlier, you'll have seen Vietnam squeeze past the USA by three matches to two. Let's hope for at least as much excitement this evening when the Netherlands face France. This was a little earlier on. We recorded the French in their huddle. Here's how the group stands, just confirmation that uh, both nations are two out of two. Not only that, they've got identical records. Eight matches won, two lost, but both ties, they have been victorious, both the Netherlands and the French. Now we can rejoin our enthusiastic French players. Even my French knows that's go France. <laughs> Little earlier, uh, the crowd started arriving. It's uh, pretty warm outside. And we always tend to get good crowds in the evening. Workday's finished. It's a big city, Nanning. Population of around about 7 million. And here's what we're in store, we have in store for you this evening. Uh, mixed doubles, first of all. The informed French pair, Le Bar and Tronc, face the higher ranked uh, Tabula and Peak. Uh, the women's singles uh, will follow that, and this could be an intriguing one too. The three-time Dutch national champion, Gail Maulet, against Marie Batimont. That looks a, a very hard one to call. Then the men will take centre stage. Mark Calliol, who I'm looking forward to seeing, he's a really improving player, ranked in the top 30 in the world now. He'll start favourite against Brees Leverday. After that, we have the women's doubles, uh, Peak and Seinen, bronze medalists at last year's European Championships. They face the ultra-consistent Delru and Palamo. And our finale features the men's doubles, uh, Arons and Yilla against last year's Czech Open champs, Ikel and Labar. Just a reminder of how this tournament works. There are 12 teams in Group 1, and they are the only teams that can actually win the trophy. But there are ranking points at stake for 
the other 19 teams and a lot of national pride obviously as well remember the players don't get paid for this event they do it for the love of their country and this could be an absolutely fascinating encounter this evening between France and the Netherlands and the tone can be set very early on that's why I was mentioning that mixed doubles which is going to kick off the action um, on paper you would have the French uh, sorry the Dutch I should say as the favorites but it doesn't mean a great deal necessarily we've seen a few upsets already if you're watching yesterday you would have seen uh, Russia take Japan the whole way and not too many would have predicted that I think it's fair to say so here come the protagonists Tabalin and Peak on the left and on the right Labar and and Trump. First tournament was held way back in 1989 and it's staged every couple of years and actually only three nations have ever won it. China on 10 occasions, South Korea four times, they are the defending champions, and Indonesia on one occasion. Officials are on court, as you can see. They have never met before, so no form guide really to go on as far as that's concerned. Our chair umpire just sorting out the formalities. Palomo, who's uh, 24 now. This pair. The bar, who's very, very good from the back of the court. Twice a national mixed doubles champion. Rack down at 86, though, as you can see, as we look at uh, Antron. European Championship silver in the women's doubles, but only last year. And well, actually won the Orlean Masters uh, this pair this year, so they are in form. Tron's actually won a couple of mixed doubles titles with different partners, and there is her current partner, Arona Labar. He's had success with other partners as well. Uh, Audrey Fontaine in particular in 2017, they won a European Championship bronze. Won the Denmark International this year with Tron. Didn't play against Vietnam as you can see and a straightforward victory against Shu and uh, Obanana of the States. Four one was the eventual score in that uh, match, incidentally. Um, and on the other side of the net, there's uh, Selena Peak. They ranked 44 in mixed doubles, but have been up as high. Well, she has been up as high as 12 with uh, Yako Arons. On a clutch of mixed doubles titles with uh, Arons, did Peak. And there's her partner, Robin Tarbolin. Had a good year last year, these two. Won the Brazil International, the Austrian Open. <laughs> Comfortable victory in their match against uh, the States.
not selected against Vietnam. The beauty of uh, squad rotation. Nishan Wee in the chair. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, friends, represented by Nonan Lama. Rahana De Silva of Sri Lanka is the service and judge. On my left, Netherlands, represented by Robin Taba, Selena Pick. Netherlands to serve, Selena Pick to Annie Chen. Love all, pray. So here we go, first shuttle hitting anger on court two tonight and straight away an example of Ronan Labar's power it wasn't deep enough but he made that look ridiculously easy pretty much mid-court range that's a warning the Dutch would do well to heed having said that Robin Tarbelin's not bad either service over one all I think the tone's been set already. I don't imagine we're going to see too many particularly long rallies. And with two men from the back of the court, and two women predominantly trying to steal points at the net. Two, one. ranked some 42 places higher than the French which is why they would make them favorites they've got off to a good start and that's an unforced error Five. that Antron can ill afford He took a long time to decide, didn't he, to let that go, Tarblin, but he made the right call in the end. Great defence from Tarblin there. In the end, though, the French prevail, and that will make Antron feel much better after that uh, error Two, a moment ago. Six. Did really well to keep the uh, points alive, <laughs> and at least uh, Selena Peake can see the funny side of it. here so two challenges for each pair per game and if you Whoa. are successful then you keep that challenge service over seven three Bit of drift in the in the hall Four, seven. from the far side to near as you look
Well, that's a pity because there was some terrific defence from seven. Peak earlier in that rally. In the end, the error from Tarbolin. And the French threatening to get back into this opening game. Well, that was a really well-constructed rally. They were Service under over. pressure for much of it, the Dutch Eight, pair. Five. That was good leave in the end. 31-stroke rally, the longest of the match, and I don't think we're going to have that many of them of that length or longer. Again from Labar. Service over. Six, eight. Don't get it deep to the back line. He's going to punish you. Four. Service four call. Too high. Too high. Has to be below 1.15 meters. Nine. Service Six. judge looking through that little uh, gadget they have in front of them. Enables them to deduce if the serve was too high. Oh, given straight back by Peak. That was a gift. Seven, nine. Nicely done by uh, Tarbolin. Right between seven. two opponents. So often an effective place to put it. Whoa. Great play again. Really, really good anticipation seven, from Peak. Seven. Interval. Moved across early, and they have a four point advantage. The Dutch at the mid-game interval. Very nicely done. And then would you have to say that he is like a big man in the middle? Yes, he can get a bit of a break. Yes, sometimes he can get a bit of a break. Yes, sometimes he can get a bit of a break. Yes, sometimes he can get a bit of a break. Yes, sometimes he can get a bit of a break. Yes, sometimes he can get a bit of a break. Eleven seven. Pray. Harwood in serving. Out. Good service judgment over. from Ronan Lepar. A few service errors in this uh, match so far. Yeah, well done. It was clever play from uh, Antoine. And the bar was alert to it. And he did the easy bit, really. It was a very straightforward kill. But the deception that preceded it was what set that up.
Oh, she was really alert to that troll. Wasn't the best lift in the world, but even so. It's going to be challenged, and I, I think this might be worth a challenge. Wasn't an immediate arm in the air from the bar. Just a bit of confusion. It was called out. Now we've got that straight. We'll get Hawkeye on the case. This might be close. Guess the serve, Labar, and after that it was pretty straightforward. 12, 14. Excellent rally. Didn't expect the error from Troll. Service over. 15. Clark. Judgment there by Robin Tarbellin. 13, 15. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh. again by Tron. the error though. 14. Oh. Oh. Haven't seen too much of Tarbellin from that kind of range. It's only been from the back of the court, but Tron didn't really get enough on that. Clear and it was uh, Easily put away. Service over. 
<laughs> They're always an expressive lot, the French, aren't they? Point now. The French pair. A little bit of mix up, but they managed to at least lay a racket on that. Well, the bar did. Positive from Selena Peak. Service over. 18, 16. So who's going to hold their nerve at the business end of this opening game? Hey. Nice deception initially from Tarbolin. And he got the job done with the second of those two jump 19, smashes. 17. Possibly that could 19. be. Almost oh. looked as though Selena Peak was in two minds there. In the end, it was a bit of a nothing shot. Way long. And now it's anyone's 19 all. work of it but 21 game, points to 19 21, the Netherlands 19. strike first Je 
ok, ok, il fait le dernier qui t'a fait là, il te rentre une fois dedans, mais si t'es prête, il n'y a pas de souci. Ok Faut juste faire attention, on vous colle les pieds au fond. Ouais, mais t'es là Il n'y a pas de croiser sur toi, c'est d'avancer sur ta défense croisée. D'accord C'est arrivé une paire de fois. Continue à repasser derrière, ou alors, ou alors joue sur le bord. Die had je dan ook al, met die dat is Ja, dat is goed. 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 Ja, dat is Ja, dat is goed. Ja, dat is goed. Ja, dat is goed. Ja, dat So the French playing catch up here oh. in game two. One love. Strange game that opener. Dutch started really well and then almost let the French back in. It was a friendly oh. net call. Speedily covering the ground there to get from one side of the net to the other. Once she got there, pretty straightforward. Good lead. It's so precise with that serve. Time we've seen it go for the flicker. Might not try it again for a while. Good work again from Selena Peak. It's been a bit of a curious second we've just played from Dutch pairs so far. It's an excellent badminton and maybe a few more unforced error than they would uh, <laughs> ideally like. It's a bit easy as well. Great deception from Tarbolin, and then the jump smash just to confirm the point. Really good from the big man.
Senior. Another run pulls down. Mentioned that the bar and trot been in pretty good form of late. Denmark International this year they won the Orleans Masters as well. He's got a, a cut, I think. Has he the bar? Not sure. Need a doctor to stop breathing. If there is any blood, then obviously they have to put some kind of uh, bl plaster on it. So, call for the Lie medic. Judge. Lie judge, wipe the cord. Maybe you can leave me a few because I think oh. it's not gonna stay. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the concern. It's on a really awkward <laughs> part of his hand. <laughs> so just asking for a, a couple of reserve plasters just in case that one comes off. Resume here at five all. Pray. Great get. Really was by the bar. Might not have done his hand any good. Terrific shot. Service over. Six, five.
Oh, big miss that. From that range, you'd have expected Tarble in to make that count. to deal with. Top of Tron's racket. Oh! A little bit of a topsy turvy Seven. match, this. Said it looked a hard one to call at the start. But, uh, see anything to <laughs> change my view of that. Fair in love and war, I guess. Service over. It's the uh, conclusion Nine, of that. Eight. Successive points won by net cords, one to each pair. Uh, inside the, the court. Yes. done from the back of the court from Tarbalin. Now this would be a big point of fancy if they can get in for the interval at 11-8. Mid-game interval. It would be very agreeable. If I just invite in France to be ready a bit quicker. wide and 11 8 it is 11, as they eight. go for the mid-session break Eight. 
So a question of consolidation here for Tarbellin and Peak. That'll work very nicely. I was just about to say they've cut out a lot of the uh, unforced errors. Again, peak. Thirteen, eight. No way that Labar was getting that. I think she's certainly been more effective in the second game than she was in the first peak. Very experienced mixed doubles player. She's 27 now. Hoping to kickstart the Netherlands challenge for third straight victory in Group 2. Hey. I'll put the curse on her. Oh. <laughs> it's over. Eight, 13. Is creeping in on the French side. 14, 9. Well wide. That is over. Ten, fourteen. I could see exactly what Prom was trying. Yeah, a really 15, acute angle. Ten. there on the Dutch side once that happens it's almost a last ditch last gasp effort from Tarbellin and they were always going to be second best after that 